What is going on guys? Joe here again and today we're gonna kinda venture over to the running side of my life here and take a look at this new little hydration vest that I just purchased. This is the Nathan Vapor Crar. Let's see if it'll focus on that for me. Right there. 4L, which I imagine stands for 4 liters, which would be probably the storage capacity of this guy. So yeah, um, looking for a new vest to run with. Had a couple other options, we'll show those here in a minute. But we'll do a quick little look-see at this guy. This guy I got on Amazon. This one is small in size. And it fits pretty good on me. I am five foot six, 133 pounds right now. Currently wear a small t-shirt, so. They got a chart though. You measure right below your sternum. And that gets you the fit. But yeah, so this guy comes with two soft flasks with straws, 12 ounce, nah comes with two soft flasks with straws, 12 ounce capacity on each one. Uh, also has a few pockets up there. So we got the pocket for the flask, pocket in front of that on each of them. And I'll show you that when it's on me as well. And then each shoulder strap has a zip pocket. And then there's a couple little side pockets with some velcro there and then on the back it has one large pocket that goes all the way to the bottom of it fit you i think they say a liter and a half bladder if you want otherwise some extra layers or whatever and then just a little guy that goes about halfway down fit my hand in there. So yeah, give you a little background on my previous hydration stuff. We'll go over here. My first one I purchased last year was this guy, just a little cheapy. Don't even know how to pronounce that. Anogy? 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 It was something like that. This guy was like 30 bucks on the old Amazon. Uh, served its purpose for me just getting into running. But uh, not a whole lot of front storage on this guy. So when you were going out, you had a little spot that would fit like a car key in there. These two little bottles that were hard bottles. And then it had one spot in the back held together by a magnet. And I could like throw a light jacket and my cell phone in there. But other than that, not much. This guy worked well for a little bit. Um, but I couldn't really run shirtless with it. And I didn't like that much. It had this mesh material that would rub the shit out of my skin. So, and then the little edge banding there is like a stiff nylon and it wasn't very comfortable. So I haven't used this guy a ton lately. Cause after that, I went ahead and got a Camelback Octane Dart. And this guy I actually love. Um, 1.5 liter bladder the good little like self-supported 50k vest i call it i don't know kind of one pocket up there for some gels or i don't know something easy to get to that you needed and this guy had three pockets in the back one for the bladder and two other ones cell phone and jacket and some extra nutrition could go in there. Um, 
And then the other thing I like to use on my shorter one, I got a little Nathan Speed Shot Plus, a little 12 ounce hand water bottle. Kind of straps on there, you got a little cincher up. So anything like sub 12 mile run. So anything under hour and a half or so, this is usually go to. Can carry a couple gels or like these little honey stinger chews. Those will fit in that guy, car keys. So that's my shorter run solution there. But uh, what I wanted to do this year is I switched over to using some Tailwind and I didn't really want to mix do Tailwind in the bladder because I like to go back and forth between water and Tailwind. So I figured I'd get a vest with some bottle capability that was actually half decent. So, so I can do like one 12 ounce, one a Tailwind, one a straight water. That way I can switch back and forth. So that was kind of the goal with this one and then I wanted something, like I said, didn't work out on this one, I wanted something I could run shirtless and just this guy. And I think this guy is going to do the trick. The material feels very nice. The shoulders don't really have any points that will dig into the skin. So that's going to be nice. Yeah. We'll toss this guy on here. All right. So got the vest on. I like where everything sits. Got some nice wide side straps. That was one of the complaints on this cheap Aonji. I don't know. I'll never know how to pronounce that. This one just had real thin, like three quarter inch strap on the side. This one's got a nice wide one. Stretchy fabric. I have a feeling this one's gonna go throughout the run a lot better. I'd have to do a ton of adjusting on all the straps on this throughout the run to keep happy with it. Got nice access to the back pockets without having to take the pack off, I think, as long as you load it right. Pack it throw. Up in the front pocket right there. Pretty easy to get at. Side pocket. Guessing a gel might work. Kind of load it in there. Not too tight on there. I think you can load a couple gels on each side. And then the other thing I wanted to be able to do is on some of the runs, I wanted to be able to stick my phone up front just so I had easy access to it on some of the longer slower runs wouldn't mind to get out and snap a couple pictures of some things that I see but yeah so what kind of these uh, bottles are zip tied in there so get something to cut those off pull a bottle out but another nice little feature on this guy is it's got the straps are on a little rail system to where you can slide them up and down get that nice fit for each individual body because as you know everyone's not the same and that kind of helps the more adjustability you have without making it too complex so I think you'll be able to dial this guy in pretty good okay, we'll snap that guy off, get a bottle out here I know some people have been saying they've had issues with these bottles leaking. So we'll see how that goes. After typical soft flask. Nice little thing about these though. They got this rib in them. Which, if you ever had soft, soft flask going into one of these, that rib's kind of super nice so it actually 
slide straight in instead of bunching all up like most of them usually do. So yeah, I'm gonna be back here in a second, try and fill one of these up and see what all the leak issue is about. All right, bowl of water. We'll screw this guy on and see how bad it is. I even dropped it. I got nothing. So I think maybe the trick is to hold it below the harder plastic section when you tighten it so you don't flex it too much and not let it tighten even. I don't know. Seems to hold fine for me. I guess we will we'll find out the more I use this guy. Yeah, I'll throw it in. So even with this is a Samsung Note 8 in that front pocket. That one sits fine in there, tuck the straw in. Easy access. So yeah, I think this guy's gonna be a pretty nice pack and uh, the small I purchased on Amazon for $78. That's like unreal for a pack. I mean, I think you're, feel like you're supposed to spend like $200 for the hydration vest. So to get this for $78 is quite the steal right now. I know it's a couple years old or a year and a half old, but I think it'll work for me. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I got a, I'm maybe pacing between 30 and 40 miles of a guy's 100 mile one this weekend. We're gonna use this guy. So that'll give it a good test out in a couple days. and. Uh, if you're interested, I guess I'll let you know how that goes. Huh, just found this kind of neat little thing too. So it has, I'm assuming, a little clip holder for uh, the tube on a bladder like this guy. I'm assuming that's what that is snap in there, but it's magnetic. That's kind of neat. So, not using that. Do it somewhere else. I'll probably just leave it on there. I don't know. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so here is the Nathan Vapor Car 4L. I think we're going to have some fun out on the trails with this guy. And, uh, I don't know. I think if you're looking for a vest in that $100 range, this one's pretty good. I can tell you it's way better than this guy. So if you have one of these, this is better. You should get one of these. Plus the colors are pretty cool. Can't complain about that. Gotta look good. So. Yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, maybe we'll do a little video on the little 100 mile race this weekend. So, so yeah, with that, that's, that's all I got on this guy. And uh, thanks for killing a little time with me tonight. And if you were to pay attention to that clock back there, you didn't really kill any time because it didn't even move. Yep. It's only been up for a year and a half. Why would I put batteries in it?